Mel Daniels was drafted by the Minnesota Muskies in 1967 before the ABA's inaugural season. He earned the league's first Rookie of the Year award, and soon another team began to covet his talents. Part of a postseason trade with the Indiana Pacers, Daniels should definitely help Coach Bob Leonard move last season's third place club into championship contention. And Daniels did just that, elevating Indiana to one of the elite teams in the league. Well, Daniels rebounds, and he stops it. He would become the leading rebounder in ABA history, controlling the paint with his trademark intensity. I think he was the first guy I heard growling on the basketball court. He'd grab rebounds and be, ah, block a shot, ah, score basket, ah. It wasn't long before Daniels led the Pacers to the ABA mountaintop, a championship in 1970, and then twice more in 1972 and 73. He was the main guy. He was the mainstay that anchored the three championships for the Indiana Pacers. Daniels won two League Most Valuable Player awards, made seven All-Star appearances, and carved his own spot in the rich tradition of Indiana basketball. I grew up a Pacer fan by watching Mel Daniels, so that's my, really my first look at professional basketball. Mel was the hero. He was a guy who you could count on. I think the consistency of his performance has made the Pacers the ABA's most successful franchise in its history. Fellow Pacers legend Reggie Miller issued the following statement about the passing of Mel Daniels, saying, Words cannot express the depth of my sadness today. Mel Daniels was a father figure, brother, consigliere, but most of all, my Uncle Mel. He helped raise me into the man I am. I hope I made him proud in everything I tried to do on, but more importantly, off the basketball court. My heart goes out to CC and the Daniels family. 